and they hatched, they actually have. Why don't you give the code word for the giveaway? <laughs> What's Trying up, Billy Slam? Switched. Welcome back. Uh, I hope you've been sticking along. So one of the last couple of videos, we kind of made mention to what we are doing in this video. So today we're gonna build a DIY mini pool pond thing for some really cool frogs that we get to adopt. So we are getting, uh, they're called green squirrel tree frogs. They're tiny, tiny little frogs. One of the members in the uh, Connecticut, Connecticut Aquarium group that I'm in hatched a bunch of them from tadpoles. They're beautiful looking things. And we figured it would be a great environment. They kind of match Charlie's environment. So we're gonna put something together for them in here. Also, one of the other things we mentioned too, we are going to be getting those wood turtles that we talked about. We wanna get a pair of wood turtles that can breed down the road. But so this is going to be the, the little pool pond that we're doing. Um, if you guys are following along and wanna do this, and you can do this for really anything that just needs a little area. Uh, most of this stuff, all of this stuff we got at Home Depot. I think everything. We got everything at Home Depot. Other than the under, sand. Under than, yeah, other than the uh, pool filter sand, which we've shown that before. I love that stuff. Um, under 50 bucks. Very simple build for you guys today. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Let's just get to it, you know? Enough talking. Let's do some work. As always, make sure you subscribe down below. Hit that bell. And guys, share this around. We got to keep growing. It's been awesome lately. We've gotten some cool videos out there. We've gotten some really cool... No, that's and you goof. We've gotten some really cool feedback from you guys and uh, we're gonna need some more because we're gonna need some names, probably not for the tree frogs, but definitely for those wood turtles. So, no further ado, let's get this build going. Hi Charlie, he's like, what are you doing in my enclosure? All right guys, so the first thing we are doing is digging out this area for the tub to sit. We wanna try and get it as low as possible so they don't really have too much climbing to do. We are gonna do another giveaway, which I'm pretty excited about. I hope you guys are. So as always for that, make sure you are subscribed, hit that like button, and stay tuned to the end to find out Grayson's code word. Gray, you're gonna pick another code word today, okay? Don't say it yet. <laughs> you gotta say it at the end. So we got that in place, and what I'm going to be doing is pulling all of the extra uh, dirt and peat moss and all of that and we're gonna kind of make like a turtle ramp the frogs Should be able to get in and out pretty easily. So it's really just for the wood turtles themselves again They're not gonna live fully in water, but they do need some to go in So we're gonna build this up pack it down a little and then we have a huge thing of rocks And we're gonna put those on top to make it a little bit uh, more Sturdy for them to walk up so they're gonna be able to walk up kind of do their thing and then they should be able to get right out as well all right, next step, we have got our trusty old pool filter sand, which again, I've talked about numerous times, but I love this, really cheap. You can usually get it for around anywhere from 10 to 15 bucks, depending on where you get it. Um, I love it because it is a finer grade than like your play sand, and I feel like it actually does help filter the water a little bit, um, but it's very clean because it's already like triple filtered and washed and everything. So you can actually just pour it right in. You don't need to really rinse it out. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna pour some in first. This is gonna be the bottom for the turtles and the frogs. And then what we're also gonna do, so I'm gonna smooth that out so it's pretty even throughout the whole thing. And then I'm gonna pour a good amount extra. If you guys had checked out the build that we did when we got Groot, First of all, if you never check that out, make sure you go check that out right now. But if you did watch that, you remember kind of that slope that I did and he could climb up. I'm gonna do something a little similar here with some sand and rocks so that they climb up not only to their basking spot, but also to get out. You can do this kind of however you want, but I think that will be the easiest for us. Well, this is going to, one way or another, be their basking area, um, the turtles. I don't think the frogs will bask a little bit, but not, not like turtles. So um, again, pick this up at Home Depot, it was like a couple bucks. Uh, I'm gonna try and get the sand as much over it down here and here as well so that they can kind of get up to it. The water level in here so that it doesn't spill over, make too much of a mess would probably be, you know, we're gonna try and get as close to the top as we can. So they should also be able to kind of just swim right up to it. So the next step, we got our rocks here and uh, I'll pop a little clip up there. I've uh, washed these off. These again, Home Depot. I think these are called like marble chips or something. Really get whatever you want. We just like the color of these. Um, you definitely want to wash these very, very well. And uh, in the video, you'll see why. Good job, Gray. 
All right, so Gray is sitting here filling this thing with water. And uh, we are probably gonna need one more bag of rocks. I wanna get this kind of right up to it. So um, one miscalculation, just so everybody knows, probably need two bags of rocks. So we are gonna filter this. And what we're gonna do, since we have it left over from before, if you remember, again, Groot's old tank before we moved him, we had that really cool little waterfall filter. And I think it will fit perfect right in the corner over there. And we can just run the cord right out there. Um, Charlie must be really hungry because he is trying to eat everything that he sees. So he's trying to eat the hose. He's trying to eat my toes. I don't think I cut the strawberries small enough. Anyone else have a tortoise out there that has trouble eating? Not like willingness to eat, but like physically trouble eating. I feel like sometimes he tries to eat and he just keeps missing and missing and missing. It's not too deep. Really cool guys. So this was the waterfall filter that was over there. Just one thing, if you can zoom in in here, I just want to show you guys real quick. I kind of DIY'd it inside a little bit. So instead of the little carbon filters that it comes with, which I'm not a huge fan of, I got some nice new pieces of sponge and put it in there. And also way down at the bottom on both sides and the middle, I actually put some nice pieces of lava rock that came from a filter that was already, it's already been filtered through many times. So we'll just put a tiny little hole in here, shoot the cord out there and plug it in and <laughs> We'll have a pond. I'm, I'm pumped, guys. There's a few more things you want to do. We bought a really cool little tree in here for the tree frogs. Um, and we might, I don't know what we're going to do yet for lighting because I do want to have, have some more lighting on the pond itself a little bit. So we might run one more uh, little light here, but we'll see on that. But stay tuned to the end. We still have the uh, good vibe shout out and we still have the code word from Grayson. So what do you guys think? We've got our little waterfall filter going. Check it out. I love this plant. So, I, guys, it's really coming together. This is super cool. Oh, crazy, crazy news. So off camera right now, we had to run outside and I had to get something. While we were out there, something amazing just happened. So if you check the recent pictures I posted in the community section, I posted a picture from today, which when you're watching this will be probably like a week ago, posted a picture of the our chicken, Henrietta, who's been broody for a while. She has been sitting on duck eggs for 26 days now and they hatched, they actually hatched. It is the most exciting thing in the world. So we have two baby ducklings. They are under her right now. I'm not gonna show you anything yet. We'll do it in another video, but really cool. Make sure you stay tuned and we're gonna have to find them a good home. We don't have any room for them, so we can keep them for right now, but we are gonna find them a good home. If anyone's in the Connecticut area and you want some ducks, they're really cool. It's probably a mix of Pekin and Khaki Campbell. So I'm, I'm just excited. I can't wait to see them, but I can't believe it actually worked. We, you know, we weren't. We weren't really sure if it was going to. I mean, look at that, that's awesome. I think the frogs will kind of sit maybe on the water. I'm, I, this is what I'm envisioning. They'll kind of sit on the waterfall. They'll climb up in this because they're tree frogs. We might even bring the frogs from outside into here. I don't know yet, so maybe more. Then we'll get the wood turtles and they'll go in there. Guys, we got a phone call the other day. So Tay's mother was here visiting everybody and we got a phone call from one of her friends and really cool, well, cool opportunity for us, it sucks for them. They had a baby um, red foot tortoise, crazy, and they just can't take care of it. He's a tiny little guy, needs a new home. So, Greg, we're taking in another red foot tortoise. Are you excited? <laughs> Does that mean yes? Red Someone actually tortoise. abandoned him. It was sad, but we are gonna take him. We're gonna have a great home. He's gonna come in here. He's gonna be super good buds with Charlie. We're gonna need a name. I don't know if he has a name yet, but we're gonna rename him. So we'll need a name for that. But. That's pretty much it. Gray, why don't you give the code word for the giveaway? Strawberry. Strawberry, so Grayson came up. It's another fruit. He loves fruit, mm -hmm. so I figured he would do something like that. So code word for the gift card giveaway is strawberry. So rules, be subscribed, like the video, watch the whole video, and the code word that you need to comment down below is strawberry, and we'll pick the winner soon. <laughs> Not a picture of you, Goober. All right, so let's get to this episode's good vibe shout out. So this goes out to, and again with the names, I'm sorry if I butcher it. I'm trying my best. It goes out to He Ming Shu. Says watching from India. The, <laughs> he said watching from India. The hatching part is beautiful. I will have to try it someday. A uh, couple of things about this comment. Number one, so, so cool that we are, our videos are reaching over to India and other parts of the globe. That is so amazing to us and we are super humble that we can 
help and uh, get to people all over the world. So really cool. Thanks for watching us. He was actually commenting on the video. If you guys never saw that really cool video where we hatched our own chicken eggs uh, in the incubator, we did it a couple times actually. So try and check that out if you get a chance. But you know, a lot of fun. This was awesome. Super easy build. A couple of things we are going to continue to add. Like I said, we are going to get another um, bag of rocks to do that. And again, we always try and improve these things. Hope you had fun. As always, what do we say, Gray? Peace. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe below. Look at this guy. He wants to get. They always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent, guys. Fred is in great shape. Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.